Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a good shape for you today. Sorry it's been a while. I, I've got a lot going on in the personal life and uh, it's just, you know, not getting to videos. So we haven't had a shave since the last video. Um, I don't know, it's probably a week's worth of growth. Um, we're going to use Art of Shaving Sandalwood Shaving Cream. And uh, Buddy sent me a pre-2011 uh, R41. So we're going to see what that's like. See how bad I cut myself up. I already put a rainbow blade on. Sorry, I got an itch in the eye. I already put a rainbow blade in the uh, razor. And I'm using rainbow because they're more mild and efficient, whatever you want to say. And I will tell you, I think the issue that makes the R41 so aggressive is the blade exposure on this puppy. Y'all probably can't tell, but y'all see that blade exposure? It's a lot of blade. But anyways, sandalwood, art of shaving. Oh, first use. Just gonna take it and scoop that cream back in that was stuck to the top. Boop. We're going to use the horsehair zenith today. Lather it up. Sorry guys. Mine's just in another place. I figured I needed a shave because that'll help. It's really all you need guys. From what I understand, videos I've seen. Um, if you haven't seen this, is the new Art of Shaving labels. Um, they used to look differently. They were like red and striped. We, it's quite cold. I haven't face lathered with this, so this is going to be interesting. Haven't face lathered with this. So hope everyone's doing well. Oh, there we go. It's turning into something. This is a nice sandalwood. Plenty of people say this is their favorite sandalwood. I could understand it's nice and creamy. It's really nice. Look at that, already getting pasty. You see that hair? There's a hair. There's a hair. I let this brush soak for three minutes too, guys. So you can't say I'm like, Snapping them off because I didn't let it soak long enough like three minutes is plenty long to be soaking a brush like this in my opinion, but whatever Hanging it in a little Painting some more on this side Cold water we didn't make a warm shave. I'll still probably shower a little later this evening. I wanted to get the shave out of the way. Getting up in this area, it's going to be difficult with this razor. I'm thinking about it now. We're putting it off. I'm intimidated. I'm scared. I mean, the stories you hear of the pre-2011 R41. It's pretty aggressive. So that means this razor is like what, 13, 14 years old. I'm going to take the blade out when done because I'm going to take care of this razor. It's not mine. But the threading's starting to get that. Uh... You understand, people that have a lot of razors they said they don't always use them so they're not getting used every day so it is lasting longer than you it probably normally would but you can see some corrosion on the thread do y'all see the hair hair I'm not happy with the shedding and I've been using this brush a lot not happy with the shedding I hate the shedding man A little frustrating. Whew. Let's give it a go. Wow, you can feel that blade. It is ever present. 
You can feel it flexing on the face, for lack of a better term. I bet you could probably, the way this is feeling, I would have used a more uh, efficient blade. This could definitely be like a one pass shaver. Because look at it. It's a lot of growth. You know, there's not a lot of residual with the art of shaving. Oh, when I was talking about this, sorry, I don't know if I finished saying it, but you can see some corrosion around the threading. Of those zinc alloy heads. Another hair. Now the person I found out about this from was CBD, I'm sure tons of other people do it, but he used like frog lube or a grease that he would put around his, um, the threads of his razor before storing. And his reason was to protect it from corrosion. That man had a ton of razors and a daily shaver, so he definitely got them in his rotation. It's a lot to remember and keep up with, though. You know, you're in a rush. You don't feel like every time pulling your blade and all that good stuff. I get it. But it's best practice, I mean, if you want your stuff to like really last. You need to lube the threads. Especially of a plated razor. Um, that's also where razors tend to break. And have points of weakness. Especially, um... The zinc alloy is a Mac, whatever you want to call it, or um, even cast items. So, just one of those things. We're going to see how it goes. Try not to nick ourselves, man. I will tell you, I would normally say this rainbow blade is trash. Takes way too many passes. To knock everything down. That is some enormous blade feel, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I'll try another blade in it at some point if I ever go this long without shaving. But I feel like there's a lot of flex going on, too when I'm hitting that thick growth. Like I can feel the flex. 
on my face and on the razor. Like guys. Okay, that's just leftover hair. We'll do the neck just a little. Clean it up. Super aggressive razor pickups. Nice. Seems smart, doesn't it, people? You know what we'll do just in case, because it's not an adjustable. So I can't bring it down. I do still have my TRC here. I'm just going to use that for light pickups. Yeah, that's not residual right there. Definitely one of those that like don't don't depend on residual. But anyways, you know the drill. We're gonna rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, guys. I think we're good. Good shave. Shave. Parasso red sandalwood scent lotion, as they tend to call it, instead of splash. I did not rinse out my. Zenith brush. We literally just rinsed up the face and came right back. Nice little bit of sting. This is, they're really different sandalwoods. It's crazy. They are different sandalwoods. Um, what do you expect from the art of shaving? I still think you're overpaying for the art of shaving. That is my personal opinion. I'm sorry I have not gotten to uh, comments from the last couple of videos. Um, like I said, life's been hectic. Zenith man, I do like this, but y'all saw me face lathering. A lot of people probably would not like face lathering with this because it is a little floppier. And um, people I know that face lather would probably tell me that's too floppy. Most people. Oh, excuse me. I guess we're gonna use we use the R41. And you see how it's more like screw threading instead of like an open comb. It's like a safety bar open comb combo. It's odd. So we're going to get the blade out. Tight fit. See, and there's still soap on the bottom side of this blade. Rainbows have that gold color. But worked well in this razor. I wonder what a super sharp blade would have done. Like if I would have just been done in like one pass and then pickups on the neck. The world may never know. So let's see if I can... Do y'all see the darkness on the threading? Then on this side it looks pretty good. But that's it's just what happens over time. It's why I tell people that's the downside of buying pop metal. Uh, it's not dude's fault who sent it to me by any means. It's just like the fact that it's lasted this long. Like I've heard people be like, oh dude, you know, my DE89 finally snapped, you know. Um, but anyways, that is it. Man, that's nice. Super really good right here still isn't like super close like right in this area but you don't see anything feels good <sighs> anyways <laughs> sorry guys just enjoying the end of the shave but if you made it this far like the video subscribe to the channel hit that noti bell we will catch you next shave